time, Dr. Gronos, the senior computer scientist and information security researcher of the National Institute of State Arts and Technology, will present this presentation. And the title of the presentation is The State of Cybersecurity 2013. Please welcome Dr. Gronos with a big round of applause. Technology must be trustworthy 
and resilient. Trustworthiness is the degree to which an information system can be expected to preserve the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability of the information that's being processed, stored, and transmitted across a full range of threats. Trustworthy information systems are systems that are believed to be capable of operating within defined levels of risk, despite environmental disruptions, human errors, structural failures, and purposeful cyber attacks. Resilience is the capability of an information system to continue to operate under adverse conditions or stress, even if in a degraded or debilitated state, while maintaining essential operational capabilities and being able to recover to an effective operational posture in a time frame consistent with mission and business needs. The degree of trustworthiness and resilience required is a function of the organization's risk tolerance. That is, how much risk is the organization willing to take before its core missions and business operations are put into jeopardy? Managing information security risk is not an easy task. It requires certain institutional capabilities. The capability to effectively assess risk. The capability to effectively respond to identified risks. And the capability to monitor risks over time. Risk assessments look across the enterprise at specific threats and vulnerabilities and the likelihood that such threats could exploit those vulnerabilities to cause adverse consequences, including mission or business failure. Risk responses can include the outright acceptance or avoidance of risk, the mitigation of risk, the transference of risk through instruments such as insurance, or the sharing of risk with other organizations. And finally, risk monitoring promotes situational awareness, that is, a heightened awareness and understanding of changes to the hardware, software, firmware components that compose the information technology infrastructure, and equally important, changes in the threat space, vulnerabilities, missions, personnel, facilities, and technologies. To be effective, we want our organizational risk decisions to be based on specific, relevant, and credible information. We have made significant progress during the past decade with the development of comprehensive, standard practice tools, techniques, and technologies for managing information security risk. These include risk management processes and frameworks, risk assessment methodologies, and safeguards and countermeasures or security controls for information systems and organizations. The cross-agency sharing of classified and unclassified threat data facilitated the development of the next generation security and privacy controls that are now in this special publication, 853 revision number four. These controls are freely available on the NIST website and, if used effectively, can contribute to the trustworthiness and resilience of organizational information systems. The controls can also help organizations effectively manage the ongoing risk from an increasingly sophisticated threat space to include the very dangerous advanced persistent threat. In addition to these state of the practice, security and privacy controls, industry continues to produce innovative security tools and technologies to help protect the missions and business operations of government and commercial organizations. However, having a comprehensive set of tools, techniques, and technologies to address information security risk is not sufficient for ensuring that our public and private sector organizations 
are adequately protected in cyberspace. 